the fastest 10 women from the weekend, as you say, were packed with, uh, with experience and uh, flair, if we look at. First off, we've got uh, Stefanka Hilgetova. Um, Eva, I guess you can tell us something about Stefanka. Yeah, Stefanka, she is going to be first on finish line, uh, on the start line today. She is uh, already maybe more than 20 years on a senior team of Czech Republic. She's incredible. Mm, I think she's 46 or 45 years old and she's such good still and she's proving herself all the time. She can make a final, she's fit and it's like... So someone like yourself who's on the, on the uh, obviously part of, part of the Czech team, is it an inspiration having someone like this or are you constantly trying to kick them off the team? I would be lying if I would say we are not trying to be better than her because sometimes it's a bit shame that she's still the best in Czech Republic because we should be more powerful with more energy. Now we are watching her, she started really good, good to get three. Yeah, she started very well. We will see what's going on. Oh, she is. I think she's trying not to risk a match because she went up the stopper from the gate four or five. We saw a lot of uh, the competitors in the semi-finals today really struggling from gate seven, but she's so far clear. It's to see yes. what sort of time she puts together and really keeping through the middle of the gates like you see. I think it's really important she stays clean. And now we see she's risking there and I heard it already before or after her semi-final her husband said that she will try to do it straight not with the boogie well, we only saw i think uh Kaliska go straight we saw a couple of others uh Nuria did a spin uh, under the gate so it's really really encouraging to see that there she has the uh, the confidence to go to back now it's quite a a difficult now section she has to jump yes ah it's a bit offline and she touches we'll see so home to go for is Karina Kunle, put forward a sub 100 second run and was one of only two competitors clean in the semi-finals. She gets through with 99.2. So let's see how uh, Stepanka performs today. As we know, she has two Olympic medals, been to the, all six Olympics, and it's looking like she's putting down a, a solid time at yeah. the moment. She will be definitely faster than in her first run. Oh, that's good. She is not really happy with this one, but of course the next competitors will make a lot of mistakes. So we will see if it will be enough for a medal. Well, let's see how she goes. I guess she's put down a, a, a solid run. I think this is going to be a really tricky combination, this gate 16 and 17, because the girls are already tired here and you need to pull a really hard stroke to jump and, and not get offline. And especially it's difficult to take an easy option on this gate. There is no way, not other way that. Second athlete, second Czech in to go. By the way, we have three Czech athletes in this final, which is not surprising. It's Veronika Kovatova from the Czech Republic, 24 years old, was part of the team that won the gold in Vienna. I think she's already happy. She's just going to enjoy her run because with her first run, when she got to final, she secured her place for world championships. So she has some troubles to go to the upstream number five. But it doesn't have to mean something. All the girls are, I think, going to make small mistakes. It's important to stay clean and smooth for the rest of her path down. She must have tried out all these combinations hundreds of times there, so it's a case of how she handles the yes. pressure today. Yes. She takes now an easy option to the gate 11. Significantly down, three and a half virtually seconds back from uh, Stepanka. Stepanka has some troubles at the end of the course, so... Now this is out. Oh. Yeah, the gain 16 will be very hard for the girls today. Looks like she's touched 17 as well, so four seconds of penalties. That's not going to help her cause. Uh, it will be very difficult for being a top five with this run. She again lost a bit of time in the last upstream. 
here she comes crossing the line well off the pace unfortunately but like you said she's secured her position in the world and it is a, a final so i suppose positives uh, tomorrow will be will be massive the four penalties were unfortunate for her well we're seeing in the first two runs that the the challenging gates are 15 uh, 15 16 when they come through there so Tepanka stays at first place. It's incredible. Her son is getting married this Saturday, so she's probably gonna be soon first grandmother racing. Wow! That'd be <laughs> yeah. Next competitor it's Nuria Newman from France. She is, she is pretty excited to racing on this final, the first final for her this year. She decided to make some new option in the final, so we will see. Clearly she had a cracking run last year in the Worlds where she just came second behind uh, Emily Fair who's not made the trip this week. But let's see how, how new is going. She has no excuses because she was in the commentary box yesterday and she's watched uh, 30 people already come down so she knows it as well as anyone I suspect. The start is very good for the two first upstream. She make a new option for the second upstream. So far really good. She's oh. There's a slight touch. Let's see she how she takes on this. Doesn't have to mean anything. Now we can see she make a new option. The first in the semi-final she actually spun through the gate, didn't she? So yeah, she, she make a spin in the semi-final. <laughs> she take a lot of risk. Now will be the difficult part of the trick. Oh, but the she judges obviously so that like a 50. Yeah, some troubles again. Well, she's been given a 50 and she's dropping well low. That time's going to be running on here, unfortunately. Already three girls in the row touched gate 16. It's pretty demanding. And yeah, now it's the end of the course. She's taking a lot of risks, but I guess she already knows. Maybe she's been given 50. Whereas she will be certainly happy to be in the final. Yeah. She had troubles when she arrived to Prague because French Federation didn't bring her boat. So I'm <laughs> She paddling with his boat just from Thursday for one session. Fifty-seven ladies started the final. We're down to the top ten, and so far, after three athletes, it's Stepanka Hilgatova for the Czech Republic, who's leading the ball so far. Two penalty points, 103.2. Is it a surprise that the next competitor in the final? In one sense, yes, because it's her first world final. In no, but look at her pedigree. It's Lisa Ledner, 19 years old, has a biggest test perhaps next week because she sits her final school exams. Uh, has pedigree in the family. Her brother, Mario, actually a couple of months ago in Australia, in Penrith, became the K1 Junior World Champion. So there's clearly pedigree in the family. Let's have, see how she goes today. She's the youngest athlete in final. I, I'm not sure if she ever been in a final before. No, she hasn't. So already one. big success for her. Under 23 European champion. Every junior champion. Every first final, it's very difficult, so we will, we will see how it will be for her. For the moment, it's looking good. Not a bad mistake for the moment. Well, I spoke to the Austrian camp about half an hour ago, and they said completely delighted. They have two athletes in the final. One would expect, perhaps, that uh, Karina Kunlit in the final, but uh, for Lisa, she came fourth in the Austrian trials. So uh, slow far, slightly down, but still in touch because she's 3.85 seconds off the pace as we speak. But rightly, she's clean. Now the difficult part. Yeah, but that was really fast, smooth. Now the gate 18, we saw also some troubles on gate 18 in the semi-final, so, but she made it really good. Oh. Quite a few of the girls have been hitting that uh, mm. gate and she's dropped slightly low on 20, which is going to be costing her a few seconds. Yeah, big mistake on the last 
upstream she will probably start to be tired it's a very difficult course you don't have a lot of time to relax on the course it costed her the lead i guess well she's seven seconds off the lead it's looking good for a medal for stepanka well so far four competitors to go new and newman they are contesting the actual penalty but it wouldn't uh, even if it comes off the 50 it wouldn't put her into first place Next competitor will be Jana Dukatova. Just 31 years old. One last week in Tatsun. Um, I think she already won a world championship there in 2006. In the C1. Yeah, she's not paddling C1 anymore. I don't know why she was really good at it. Well, she had a shoulder injury, had a shoulder injury, and she had surgery in 2011. So she said, uh, "No more, thank you very much." But she still messes around. But let's see how she can uh, go to again a lovely shiny swan boat. A good start for Yana Dukatova. Mm, really nice. There, she lost a bit of time. She was being held for a while by a stopper. We can see she have a very technical style. She just try to. She has a little bit like men style, and she's pedaling quite unusual shape of boat. It's really flat with not so much of volume, and it's not easy when the you are jumping some stoppers, or it's always um, staying under the water. And but she, with her style and with her power. And with, with her technical skills, she can make the best out of this flight boat. At the first split time, she was one and two, two third seconds off the pace. Well, she's hit, hit the pole on 17. Yeah, she touched the gates 17. It will be very difficult to be on the first position, so probably she will finish on the second position. Well, there's a huge gap at the moment. The realistic time to go for 103.20 takes the first position. 1.10 would take the second. So it's going to be really close here. She oh, might move ahead. It will be enough. Oh. No. Oh. But pretty close. Uh, but she, she looks satisfied. Nobody went without touch so far. We will see if Jess Fox is maybe going to change it. For the moment, on the five, fa for the moment, for the five first girl, everybody makes some penalties. So maybe the winners will be the girl who make a very clean one. Well, we saw Karina Kunla and Eni Kaliska, they're the only two to go clear in the, the semi-finals, and they're going to be the last two to go. Mm -hmm. Jess Fox uh, didn't make the final of the C1. I suppose massive news yesterday. She took, uh, took a 50-second penalty, but she's back on form. This is where she uh, uh, didn't make the final in the in the K1 world. Massively won the C1. Let's see how, how she's going today. She's a great competitor. She has really good head for competing. I always admired how she, you know, can focus on uh, both categories and how she can, like when she makes a mistakes, she can solve it very quickly and. And how's the, how's the run lucky today? So far, like, without mistake. The beginning of the course looked very good. Uh, it's Only Stefanka was doing it straight in the final here. And I think that's why she's still in lead. Well, she's three seconds off yeah. the pace at the moment, but it vitally she is clear so far. But obviously she's incredibly fast when she uh, when she has the opportunity to be. Mm -hmm. Good jump. A lot of competitors have been having problems with uh, with 17, haven't they? Not even Jessica without that in the final. Yeah, bec because there is many walls before this upstream gates, and when you go to the upstream. We have not a lot of speed, so it's very difficult. Let's see how she goes. Time to go for 103. 
Is she going to be close? Well, she is close. She was put fast at the end of the track because she has a penalty at the end. They have yes, third place. I just heard Stepanka, what she said in Czech language, like incredible. She can't believe, obviously, that she's still staying in the first position. We had, yesterday we had Katrina Hoskova who took the silver medal in the C1. So extraordinary at the moment. We've had six competitors gone and Hilga Tova is provisionally in the gold medal. Mm -hmm. But there is still plenty of girls who are capable to do even better result. Current yes. European champion, it's 23-year-old Ricarda Funk from Germany. Very lightweight. Yeah, very lightweight, but she has a very energetic style. Very good upstream now. She make a lot of good runs this year, so maybe he will ma she will make another one on the final now. She came fifth in Tatsun last week. Uh, London, she was unwell. Now the stopper pushed her really fast into the gate number 10. It's really good. Now we will see the bookie. Yes, the safe option of this combination. It's looking very good. We're so far 1.55 seconds up on the split, mm -hmm. so it's the first one that might make Stepanka a little bit nervous. Yeah, and Stepanka was not very fast at the end, so if she not make a mistake, she will probably finish first. And now she lost a bit of time, the upstream 17. Crucially managed to miss the pole. Time of reference, as I mentioned a couple of times, is 1.03. It's looking good for her. Could we have the first clear round of the day? Uh, probably the first clean round and probably the best time too. Like significantly under. Yeah, it was a very beautiful run. That's at the time of Corina on the first turn. 99.38 seconds, so we had one athlete going under 100 in the semi-final and we've had another one going 100 when it really matters in the final. So it's a Ricardo Funk from Germany. In the men's K1 yesterday, we had Hannes Egner from Germany took the gold, so it's a good weekend's work for Germany. Mm -hmm. They are racing on the same type of boat. This is the new one of Vida, specially made for Rio Olympics. Well, it seems to do a uh, great job. <laughs> seems to do the job, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And now Katja. Katarina I hope she will do well. Well, she's your compatriot. Yes. She's got a very, very sound pedigree. And the third Czech competitor in the final. Tell us about her. She is some really good friend of mine. She's always friendly, always smiling, and that's what's important. But talk about gate number five. Was she a little bit slow? Uh, she stayed for a while in the stopper. It didn't push her so fast as we see how Ricarda made it. It was a bit faster, but... It was not a big uh, mistake. Well, the crowd are certainly getting behind her. The great thing about this uh, Toya course is that the crowd are able to really feel and breathe what's going on with the athletes. Now the crucial place. She is doing the safe option. She will be a little bit late. A little bit, 2.2 seconds off. So it is still, it's pretty even because the man could took a penalty earlier that dated down. Now will be the difficult part of the course. If she's fast enough in here, she can still be the time of Ricarda because she lost a bit in the gate 17 and yeah, Katja was really fast here. I think the difference is now not so big, not two seconds anymore. Now she has to pull really hard. Go Katja, go. It will be probably the same time as that Ricarda. Well, look what they're doing. She's going for it. 
It's going to be really, really close. 99.38 to go for. Wow, it's gonna, she's going to... No. Oh. Oh. Just, just moves yeah. into second place. Now there is two check on the top three. And Ricardo Funk has a medal. Yeah, probably her first win in the World Cup. I believe it is. She's had some good results uh, last year. She didn't do much last year, but this year she's uh, certainly on fire. Oh, it's too early to say. I think two more competitors on her start line and very quality ones. So we are looking forward to see the run of Elena Kaliska. 42 years young. Double Olympic champion. I saw her uh, running up behind her yesterday into the, the boathouse and the speed she covers those steps is still, uh, still flying. Here she goes. Very popular as well. Yeah, Kaliska, she... She won the uh, Olympics two times and she's still staying in touch with the top women peddler in the world. She knows this course very well, but the upstream far five was not very fast. She has a lot of experience on the final. Good. Good, but it's good for the moment. She will be probably a little bit light. Well, if you look at the splits, she's well down 4.26 seconds. She's going to have to do something really special in the last section to make this time up. Yes, it will be very difficult for her to, to be in the top three. Now it's a difficult part. Very good now. She still has a bit of speed. jumps a little bit lower but now the exit is gonna be faster because she has a speed I think it was even with the best she is going on the last upstream time to go for is 99.38 so she's a little bit off that but could put herself in a medal position oh, she just touched the last gates It's uh, well down. First, first competitor I've seen today who's touched the last gate. Yes. I think so far. First competitor so far. Now uh, we can see now with the help she touched the left pole of the gates 22. The stream is changing on the finish line. So she, I think she was just looking down to the sprite egg and just trying to sprint and she wasn't paying attention to how the stream is. Well, the good news is your great mate, uh, Katrina Kudyova, has a medal. Just a case of, uh, will the Czech public have one medal or two? They don't come much faster than the double world champion, Karina Kudyova, second Austrian athlete in the final today. Let's see how she can go. So far this season, she's done extraordinarily well. She medaled in London, she medaled in Tassel last week. Let's see how she comes here. Silver medal and bronze medal so far. She has it in her own hands. No. She's losing a slight bit of time in the stopper. But with the hard strokes, she is going to get the time back. She's really powerful. There, was there a touch there? We, we will see what the judge say. Maybe it, it was wa just water. The run is good, but not perfect. The girls now are not making so many mistakes. Yeah, she will be a little bit late now. Well, it's four Plus seconds four. down, so that's going to be really, really difficult. Yeah, so it looked very good for Ricarda. This first for the moment. And for Czech girls too, it would be great. If so Karina, knowing Karina, will she just say, just got to go for it, or will she stick to her race plan? Uh, now she lost again a bit of time before the upstream 17. It will be very hard for her to finish in the top three. Uh, a 
again. A mistake, big mistake on the gate 20. But certainly cost her any hope she had of a medal. There she goes, going to fire it through for the last few meters. It's quite a long run in here, so it does take some time. But let's have a look at in the small screen. Ricardo Funk has so the gold medal. Seven. Nice. So Czech Republic, congratulations to Ricardo Funk gold medal and to both Czech girls, Katarina and Stepanka. They totally deserved it. The course was pretty hard and they went down we how they planned, I guess. We can see there is just two partners who have not penalty on the finals. Um, this is the girls who finish in the two first position. Exactly the same as we saw in the semi-finals, but different paddlers. So, so we, we saw the first few competitors having big problems around 15, 16, 17. They call that, is it called that jaws, that drop? Uh, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> That's what I was told. Maybe in was Czech language it sounds a little bit different. <laughs> this is the big stopper where freestylists are making their tricks usually. And it can really hold you for a few so seconds. So as, as local paddlers, do you, do you get to paddle this similar combination a few times? You've, have you seen this exactly the same combination of gates, or is it something that it's mutual? Mm, not exactly the well, same. Well, we'll talk about it in a second. But confirmation of the official, but well, unofficial result is Ricardo Funk takes gold for Germany. Katarina Kudyova takes the silver for Czech Republic, and Stepanka Hilgatova takes the bronze again for the Czech Republic. Jana Dukatova, Jessica Fox, Kaliska Gulne. Roger Leitman and Newman. Really, really good uh, results there. I suppose Nuria's 50 penalty didn't actually affect the results in the end. <laughs> it's again a medal for Igertova at 46, at 46 years old. It's just incredible. It is. I don't know if it's experience she has or... But I have to admit she was the only one the oldest one and the only one who took a risk on the gate 11 and 12. Yeah, I kind of appreciate it. Yeah, she is going straight. Um, she certainly was faster there than the other girls. Etienne, you were telling me a couple of days ago you weren't actually supposed to be coming here. Have you ever you enjoyed your weekend? Yeah, it was. I don't have good result, but every time I enjoy to race in Prague. I like this course, I like the atmosphere here with the public. So, next, in one month, I will race on the World Cup in Seho. Of course, I hope a better result with the final. So, how's your preparation going? You are world number one. Does, do you find that an extra stimulation or an extra pressure? For me, it's definitely pressure to start like a No, I, I really am pretty exciting every time to race here. It's, it's my favorite course. Um, um, every time, you know, the track are very challenging here. You don't have a lot of time to relax before the, the gates. And I guess your problem as well is uh, a depart as opposed to your most athletes just have the actual racing.